these unique items to your collection. Watch this video to know how to make them. Today, we'll show how to make an original leather leaf necklace. We'll need paper, leather cords of black, red, and brown colors, metal rings, leather of three colors, dark and light terracotta, and grayish black. Start by making the basic element stencil. Draw a leaf outline on the paper. Cut it out. Trace the stencil on the leather and cut it out. Repeat on the leather of another color. Open a ring using tools. Pierce the leather and put on the leaf. Close the ring. Prepare four to seven leaves of each color. Start to assemble the necklace. Thread a cord through the rings. Be careful to put the leaf on the cord of the similar shade. Twist the cords to form a rope shape. Tie a knot. Repeat for the other side. Smooth the necklace. If there is a gap between the elements, add an extra leaf. Hot glue the leaves of the same color overlapping each other to create an interesting composition of three color groups on different levels. Tie the ends of each cord. Make decorative knots. The gorgeous leather leaf necklace will match your outfit to make your image unforgettable. Today, we'll show how to make a smart braided leather hairband. We'll need leather of brown, burgundy, and milky white colors, paper, a pencil, and scissors. Start by making patterns of the basic details. Take the paper and draw a two inch side diamond. Mark the four vertexes and join them one by one. Make several triangles in the same way. Cut them out with the scissors. Take the burgundy leather, place a paper triangle and trace. Make two of the same details. Cut them out. Put the diamond onto the light leather. Trace. And cut out. Make four triangles from the same material. We should get several triangular details of different colors two of each size, and one milky white diamond. Let's assemble the accessory. Place the diamond in the center on top of the other details. Each triangle should overlap the next one that is less in size and different in color. Keep in mind the symmetry. Hot glue the details. Cut out two light leather strips. Make the same detail from the burgundy leather. Attach two light strips crossed at an angle on top of the burgundy one in the center. Start braiding inside out.
hot glue the braid end to the last triangle of the base. Attach the same braid to the other side. Cut out several short leather strips. Add some glue to the light braid strip. Fasten the cutout and tie a knot. Make another knot at the tail end and cut off the excess. Repeat for the other ends of the braid. Cool! This braided leather band will perfectly emphasize your hairstyle. In this project, we'll make a leather fanny pack with an awesome fringe. Make a fanny pack pattern on the wrong side of the leather. Use the pattern from the attachment to this tutorial. Trace it with Taylor's chalk. Unfold the pouch and trace the flap. Cut it out. Measure out an inch strip on the wrong side of the leather. The length equals the waist circumference reduced by the pouch length. We'll need two of the same strips. Cut them out. Align the fanny pack details with the wrong side up. Mark a slit with the chalk. Lay a cutting board. Make two parallel cuts. Cut off the excess using nail scissors. Put the pouch details the right side up. Sew down across the edge with thick thread using a running stitch. Seam the round part at about half an inch beyond the edge. Sew around the pouch flap with the running stitch as well. Align the strips the right side up. Sew down. Use a small size puncher to make holes around the lower part of the fanny pack at 2 8 inches apart. Fold the end of the belt. Punch two holes. Set a rivet in the hole. And the second one. Press with a riveter. You can set the supplies in a clothes repair workshop. Fold the pouch side ends and set the rivets. Make a snap on the pack flap in the same way. Put a ring clasp on one side of the fanny pack and on the other. Put the belt on the ring to both sides of the pouch. Cut off a piece of suede cord. Thoroughly color the end with a black permanent marker. Repeat for the second end. Fold in half. Pass through a hole on the fanny pack. Put the cord ends into the loop and pull up. Make another detail in the same way, except the size. Make it a bit longer. Fasten in the next hole. Continue around the pouch. Decrease the cord length after the bottom point. Let's see what we have. Cool! Done! This gorgeous leather fanny pack with the awesome fringe will add originality to your casual outfit. Today, we'll make a funny leather cat-shaped keychain for cat lovers. We'll need leather of burgundy and beige shades, paper, polyester filler, 
brown leather cord, black beads, a metal ring, and scissors. Draw a sitting cat silhouette on a piece of paper. Cut it out. Place the pattern on the wrong side of the dark leather and trace. Cut it out. Make another mirror image pattern. Join them and align the edges. Seam across the edge. Make a cord loop. Sew it down next to the ear. Leave about one-third of the silhouette unstitched. Stuff the figure with the polyester. Then complete the seam. Cut out a thin strip of about 3 8 inches wide from the light leather. Add another short wider strip. Cut out three of the same little triangles from the wide strip. Hot glue two of the details to the ears. Attach the third one to the tail. Wind the thin strip around the neck and tie a knot. Attach the bead eyes. Add the finishing touch by putting the ring onto the loop. Cool! This wonderful cat leather keychain will keep your keys safe. Hang it on your handbag and it will get a new stylish look. In this video, we'll make a smart braided leather belt quickly and easily. We'll need gray faux leather with a faux suede back, felt, tailor's chalk, thread the same shade as the leather, a measuring tape, tailor, and nail scissors. Draw a belt buckle on the suede side. Outline a glass of an appropriate size for that. Draw a strip smaller than the diameter of the two and a half to three waist length. Make a smooth juncture between the circle and strip. Cut out with the scissors. Make another of the same detail. Mark the middle of the belt width. Draw a middle line across the entire length. Repeat for the second detail. Measure out one and a half inches from the buckle on the line and mark. Further mark off each four inches across the entire length. Align the buckles. Mark the middle between the two first marks on the second belt detail. Further measure out each four inches. Fold a thwart at the first mark. Make a 3 8 inch cut with scissors. Continue in the same way up to the end. Repeat for the second detail. Remove the marks with a cloth. Make a felt detail for the rigid buckle. Trace the buckle with the chalk. Cut it out. Sandwich the felt detail between the leather ones. Align the edges. Sew with a running stitch. Find the cut closest to the buckle. Pass through the end of the second detail from below, upwards. Find the next hole on the top belt to pass through the underneath detail. Braid further in the same way, each time passing the beneath belt through the cut in the upper one. We've got this braid-shaped belt. 
Let's decorate the end. Cut off the corners. Make two identical end covers on the leather. Cut the third same detail from the felt. Sandwich the felt cover between the belts. Stitch across the edge. Put the cover with its suede side out on top of the belt end. Repeat for the other side. Sew down the covers. To make a hole in the buckle, lay down a cutting board. Mark the length of the belt end in the center of the buckle. Cut down using a ruler and a sharp craft knife. Make another cut in, one eighth of an inch. Carefully complete the cutting with the nail scissors. Stitch the hole across the edge. The belt is ready. Now, let's learn to tie it. Pass the end through the buckle from below. Wind around the belt. Tuck into the loop. Cool! This cute braided belt will add a touch of glamour to your casual outfit. Leave your comments, give your thumbs up if you liked the project. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and see our newest tutorials about how to make unique low-cost accessories quickly and easily.